Got on boys, welcome everybody back to another video and another player review. So today, we are going to be checking out 94 rated Prime Icon Puskas. Now obviously, they have been in packs for like something since 7am, it's now 11, so they've been in packs like 4 hours. Um, and obviously, I'm not going to sit here and try and snipe this card for 6 million coins, and then I'm going to lose like 600k on tax. But instead, EA decided to release Prime Icons into drafts, and I was very, very surprised. We built up a draft, we managed to get Prime Henri, Prime Seidel, Prime Puskas. There's a Prime Henri review on the channel now. If you guys do want to check that out, I absolutely loved him. But with Prime Puskas, boys, we're looking at a card that is 5 foot 8 high medium. He is a left footer with a 4 star skill moves. He's got only the 3 star weak foot, so he can get a little bit predictable in that sense. Attributes wise, though, he's got 91 pace. His shooting is absolutely cracked, and I could be wrong. I could stand corrected, but I believe this is the highest shooting stat in any card. Like, you know, with no chem style applied, this is the highest shooting stat in the history of FIFA disregarding team of the years and team of the seasons right so just icons and gold players I could stand corrected but I mean 98 positioning 97 finishing 96 shot power he genuinely has it all passing wise as well is really good obviously he is a center forward we played him as a striker but you know center forward striker basically the same thing um, but no he, he could definitely do a shift as like a central cam because his passing is absolutely ridiculous we actually the draft actually gave us a catalyst cam sold for him as well which genuinely isn't too bad because it maxes out his pace and it also maxes out his passing. He goes to 99 long passing, 97 short passing, uh, 98 free kicks, and 99 crossing. Dribbling wise as well, literally nothing to touch for yet. 91 agility, 92 balance, 96 reactions, absolutely phenomenal. Physical of 92 stamina, obviously the 77 strength and 57 aggression is going to be a little bit of a con, but that's just expected, right? You cannot have it all. As for traits, power free kick, flair, and the outside of the foot shot trait, which is absolutely ideal, um, especially that outside the foot shot I would have loved the finesse shot trait for him but outside the foot shot trait will just have to do obviously he is a Budapest legend and a real Madrid now hopefully obviously I pronounced both those names oh, I know I pronounced real Madrid correctly but hopefully I pronounced uh, that Budapest team's name correctly but we're going to head on over to Footbin just to show you guys an example of this card and what specific chemistry styles will affect him and personally I think a Hawk is a way to go with him gets that plus five pass uh, pace boost the shooting boost is very unnecessary with the Hawk but the Hawk does offer for a little uh, physical boost. So he goes from 77 strength to 82. He also goes to 57 aggression to 67 and gets a plus 10 jumping. 94 rated striker in game, um, 94 rated cam with a catalyst on, which is what we're using. He goes to a 95 rated cam. He's currently 6 million as well, but you guys can expect that to drop. I think he'll probably settle between 3 and 4 million coins in the next 3 to 4 weeks. Um, but the thing is, with icons, they essentially just keep dropping throughout the year. That's like how it works, right? They release it. Very hard to pack and then when they start getting packed they just go straight down and down and down and down etc etc so he's one of the cards that you know if you guys pull pull him from an icon pack or if you're very lucky like that then holy shit ggs without further ado boys let's get into the clips with this card obviously i've already played the games with him so i know what he's all about but let's get into it man what a card this is so hopping in into the gameplay lads now first of all as you can see he's making that run Vinny over the top lovely control with his chair sphere and then obviously just bangs it straight at the keeper um, i actually did that quite a bit with i think in this clip as well it may have been straight at the keeper actually no it wasn't so basically this clip he played it off to Sadorf and then Sadorf to Henri so uh, not not an assist but a semi assist there and one thing I did notice with him his work rates were absolutely exceptional he's got high medium work rates and the fact like he, he makes an amazing pass because his passing's great and then he sprints for whole pitch and he's already in the box waiting for the ball his work rates across of his attacking positioning is in my opinion some of the best in the entire game as for his height as well he's very small on the ball turns very nicely five foot eight with a right reasonable good body type four star skill moves definitely does the job pace he's absolutely rapid his shooting i mean was relatively good actually shooting we didn't actually score a crazy goal with him but we did score some tap-ins as you can see speaking of it sala down to puskas gets on that score sheet around the 88th minute and he does you know obviously secures a win with a 5-2 up anyways but it's lovely positioning from him and i actually think he passed that to sala himself and then made that run into the box which just proves like he, he literally pre-assisted himself and that just proves how good he is once again as you can see an amazing ball down to Vinicius, Vinicius goes all the way and he takes his time and finishes that and that is an assist for Puskas in the second game, Puskas he gets the assist, he gets the goals, his passing is absolutely unreal, I believe that pass down to Vinicius just before was a through ball and that just proves you know, his through balls are absolutely unreal, I mean that just it goes with everything right, his passing is just an absolute gem, um, but no honestly if I had to pick the few things that I liked the most about this card, it would 
definitely be his work rates, pace, shooting, and his dribbling, especially with dribbling and his passing as well. Once again, he makes a lovely pass, and then keep an eye on him. As you can see, Puskas sprinting into the box. Obviously, we couldn't quite get it through. We do in the end, but we do go around, and unluckily, it is saved. That just proves, right? That's why I put the whole clip in. One minute, we're literally defending. The next minute, we're making the counterattack, and before you know it, Puskas is back into the box, and that's exactly what you want to have in your striker, and that's why this card and this icon in general, Puskas, is always like known to be one of the, you know, the best icons in the game. But no, I really like the Henri and uh, Puskas link up. There is an Henri review on the channel as well if you are interested. As you can see, we go through them all and he does hit the post. He's got the best shooting in the game and he missed a one-on-one, -on -one. but no, I'll lead him off. It was a great run anyways. He's, I don't know, man. It was a great shot from me. Just unlucky in it. Just unlucky. Um, but no, I feel like him and Henri were a great duo up front because, you know, you've got Puskas, the smaller, more agile one, and you've got Terry Henry, the bigger type of guy who is also fast, also rapid. And it's kind of all, you know, works together. They both complement each other's play style really well. So if you guys were to pair him up with another striker, you could definitely pair him up with a more, you know, heavier, taller type of striker. As you can see, once again, Mo Salah and Puskas, that link up was absolutely unreal. Two games, I'm pretty sure two goals and one or two assists for Puskas. But, I mean, don't be fooled, lads. He is absolutely unreal. Although the stats, he didn't get like 10 goals in two games, like, you know, on did for me. Um, Puskas was still absolutely unbelievable. Now, Kemstall, we have gone for a Hawk. Obviously, it just, you know, maxes the shooting up. Sure, the shooting boost is very unnecessary with a Hawk, but it does give him a plus 5 pace to 96 pace, but most importantly, it gives him a plus 10 jumping, plus 10 aggression, and a plus 5 strength. But the pros have gone for the height, and by that, I mean 5 foot 8. He's small, and he feels great on the ball turning. 4-star skill moves, pace, shooting, passing, dribbling. Instead of going in-depth and saying, you know, shooting, finishing, shot power, literally all of the greens would not be able to fit on this page. If you guys want me to go in depth, for the, obviously you've got the pace. For the shooting, 98 positioning, 97 finishing, 96 shot power, 95 long shots, 94 volleys, 93 penalties. His passing, uh, you know, 92 vision. He's got like 92 short passing, 89 long passing, 92 curve. Dribbling, 91 agility, 92 balance, 96 reactions, 96 composure. You get what I mean? So we just shortened it and gone for shooting, passing, dribbling. I'm not going to write down each one because literally wouldn't fit on the screen. Um, as for the, uh, the last con as well, we have gone for the traits. He's got the flare trait and the outside of the foot shot trait, which are two very nice traits to have. In my opinion, though, he'd just be that much better if he had that finesse shot trait, but it is what it is. Now, as for the cons, we've gone for three star weak foot. He is very predictable. Um, you can't really shoot it on his right, so he will get relatively predictable, especially if you are facing a good player. Um, and as well, with a 77 strength, he will get pushed off a ball. I know 77 strength isn't necessarily bad, but once he is five foot eight and a smaller, skinnier type of guy, 77 even strength and five foot eight, you're never really going to you know out you know out strength in a, a six foot four PK with ninety aggression and ninety four strength. You get what I mean? But no, nonetheless, he's not the type of guy you know you, you need to tackle with or no, not tackle. Sorry, you know use your strength for because his dribbling is simply so good that the, uh, that the defenders can't get near him. And for the rating out of 10, now I'm actually going to give him a 9.3, which is 0.2 lower than Henri. Henri's currently leading the pack uh, in the overall review leaderboards in first with a 9.5, and I'm going to give Puskas a 9.3. I think he was probably better than Terry Henri a little bit, but the reason he's not as you know, high rating is because he's going to be significantly more coins than Henri. He's, I'm talking 1.5 to 2 million coins more than Prime Henri. So for that reason, obviously we base a ratings on two things, how they perform and their, you know, their value. He performed amazing, but value-wise, it's not a cheap price to pay. Sadly as well, links, you could debate links for, um, what am I talking about? He's an icon. Why did I just say you can debate links for a con? I, I'm an idiot. He, he, an icon links to everyone, but I, I mean in the sense, he gets no strong links. I, I mean in that sense, but like, yeah, it, it doesn't even matter. Okay, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, but no, he doesn't get any links because obviously there's no really good other Hungarian players. Um, You've got that dude for Leipzig. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name, but he's only an 81 rated in form. Maybe down the line, he'll get a special card and then you could link him into Puskas that way. Um, but for now, obviously, he just, he, he offers, okay, how about this? He only offers orange links. There we go. We, we can say it like that. He doesn't offer any green links, but he only offers orange links because you know you're not going to really find a hungarian strong link none of these boys push gas unreal card without a doubt top six icon attackers on this game hope you guys did enjoy it's been your boy davis and until next time peace out